If you want it's Emily Fox, today's video is going to be the beginning of a new vlog. I wanted to do a specific team one, so I went on my shelves and looked at books that I've had on my shelf for way too long that have magical schools, or so I'm hoping, <laughs> because I've obviously not read these books. So I asked you in my TBR uh, earlier this month which of the three books you wanted me to continue, and obviously everyone wanted me to read the Brandon Sanderson one, so this is uh, The Rhythmist which honestly, putting an H in there is just cruel to me. Uh, I hate that cover, so I'm literally just gonna remove it because no. Uh, have you seen the UK cover? Why do they always have a better cover for Brandon Sanderson's book? Anyway, it's not bad without the cover. I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell, there's a little bit of a design, it's nice. Uh, there's a map. It seems to be the US, but like weird. Um, from what I know, just magical school, literally. All I know. I think it's why or middle grade. We'll see how that uh, happens. <laughs> and the second one is the one that you wanted me to also read, and it is the Magician, the Magician's Guild by Trudy Canavan. And I believe that one is also YA, uh, also fantasy, also magical school. I mean, guild. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping. So these are the two books that I will be reading this week. I essentially just want to start reading the books that I have forgotten. On my shelves i mean i might as well last year and some i haven't been buying any books because of the pandemic i can't go to library sales which is very sad but it gives me the opportunity opportunity <laughs> to i'm like overly excited uh the opportunity to finally get around to reading these books so i can finally do a video about uh, magical schools because i like doing these teams recommendation videos but i always use the excuse that well, I have still so many to read. No more. Um, <laughs> I will have read two more and I'll be able to eventually do that specific video. The lighting is probably gonna be all over the place because I'm filming early in the morning and the sun is like reflecting. You can't see the rainbows though today. Um, so yes, uh, this week, one week, two books, I can do this. I will be updating you as I go through them and hopefully everything goes well. Only you're the reason why I can feel those butterflies so time for an update, but just before that, I wanted to show you um, a few new cats in my neighborhood. I tried to have some clips. I haven't been super successful because they are so scared of me, but look at this. Um, that's a six cat. I told you there's been a few houses sold in my neighborhood. Um, more cats? More cats? No! No! Buddy, I want to love you. I don't think he's gonna want the treats. Let's try, but he's gonna probably run away before I can do anything. I'll try with the window. If I open the door, he's gonna freak out. Ooh. I'm officially a crazy cat lady. <laughs> he's gonna run away. Here we go. This kitty wants to become my friend, but every time I talk, he just runs away. Or she just runs away. Like, I won't even get out from the couch because they're gonna run. Bye-bye. Oh, that's a chubby one. I do like chubby cats. <laughs> so cute. Look at how they exit my yard. They all go through there. It's like this special cat door. So the kitty is back. Oh, she saw me in the screen in the window, obviously. Oh, oh didn't think you would fit, but you do, okay. So we have some, uh, hopefully, new friends to make. Also, uh, Black Bean came inside my house. He went straight for uh, the basement door, which has the hole. Um, and he went to chill in my basement for a while. I obviously kept the door open because I don't want to lock him in, uh, but I'm very confused about what a relationship is like now. He still likes the treats, but doesn't want me to touch him when he's inside, but likes it outside. So we've just accepted that and yeah, it's evolving. A relationship is definitely evolving. So uh, let's talk about the books because that's why <laughs> we're here. Um, I am almost halfway through this book. I'm at page 250 out of like 450. And essentially, all that has happened is the main character accidentally kind of used magic in front of the guilt, and uh, they've been pursuing her after her. She's been hiding for 250 pages, which, why? Um, I mean, sh sure, a little bit, but 250 pages. Like, if it doesn't stop very soon, I, I will probably DNF this book because, like, it has potential. Like, I I'm curious to see what's going to happen, but, like... 
there's a limit. Uh, I haven't started the other one, so I will update you in a couple more days. Um, it's been really terrible weather outside. It's been like raining literally every day. But I wanted to show you <laughs> my apple tree <laughs> because look what it looked like the other day. Okay, you've seen that? Now, look at it right now. <laughs> the apples are too heavy. <laughs> He's struggling so badly. Hello, I am done with a book number one and I wanted to update you because it has potential, but I am kind of annoyed that it took so long, almost 300 pages <laughs> for the story to really begin. I think it could have been edited. I feel like it's very often the case that in why like older one, it's not that old, I think it's 20 years old, uh, but like older why fantasy books, the first book in trilogies end up being like prologues. I remember it being the case in a couple other really popular ones and it just frustrates me. I feel like it's just trying to stretch the book to make bigger series and I, it's not necessary. Maybe I'm sub not objective. <laughs> subjective no not objective because I prefer you know I was reading this for the magical school setting and we just got hints of it um but I think everyone would have been bored the 300 pages to get to the story anyway um I'm kind of on the fence about it I think it's probably like a three point something uh stars don't hate the characters I mean still intrigued about the magic system and the world building but like it kind of ruined my enjoyment a little bit. You'll have to let me know how the series goes. I feel like I've heard pretty mixed reviews about the rest, so we'll see. But I started book two, which I feel like in this lighting you can see the cover a bit better. Um, I It's way too recent. I didn't realize though that there would be drawings <laughs> throughout the book, which I'm trying not to spoil myself anything, but like see how it begins. You get these kind of circles that people that have magic draw with like chalk on the floor. To protect themselves and then they draw other like characters to like attack which i don't know much so far obviously i'm starting um but the main character doesn't have magic powers and wants some which i'm perfectly okay with that uh still definitely a magical school setting so at least i chose kind of right this one more i think uh but we'll see in what direction uh, this goes it definitely reads why middle grade um which they both are but still um I will update you on how this is going, but I thought I would give you a little bit of a show of my shelves, which as always, they're messy, but I have some news. I am hoping to get them, like, make them look like they're part of the wall. How to call that in English? Encastré, that would be like a French word, but Ikea has those uh, Billy bookshelves, which is what I have. They're really affordable. They're like 50 something dollars, at least Canadian and other bookshelves are super expensive, but you can get an extension, which I want to get because on top you can add like one more shelf, which I'm going to do, and then I'm going to like DIY it to look like it's part of the wall, which works perfectly because, <laughs> I don't know if you can see, but the wall has a little bit of a corner, so it's perfect. It would really look like, anyway, uh, I am not very handy, but we're still going to do it. I mean, perfect timing, pandemic, lockdown is still on, so. Um, so yeah, I, I will be attempting to do that, uh, but I wanted to show you some of the uh, school settings that I have on my shelf because why not? I like that premise and some of them I haven't read and some of them I might not know, so you can tell me. Obviously, there are still books that I will be reading from the library or something, but those are the ones that I do own. So for all my nosy people, uh, these are my shelves. Uh, I know that there is a magical school in Black Prism, horribly sexist though, but I still want to read number two three eventually um these are the other ones that i have these i don't know much so if there is a magical school let me know uh this one is definitely all over the place too i know there are some magic in some of these but i don't know if there's a magical school this one definitely does i need to continue the series actually um continue this one definitely has a magical school i'm supposed to be reading book two anytime now uh, overall, like the magic system and school, which is what I care about. <laughs> um, there you go. Brandon Sanderson, obviously. Great magic system, not necessarily school, except I think, which, where is it? This one might be also. But this is definitely middle grade and I haven't read it yet. And now I'm noticing that this is supposed to be there, but 
I told you, things are messy. Um, then we have these ones. There's definitely Magical School in the uh, Ancestry Trilogy. Uh, this one, not really, but kind of. There's magic, but it doesn't really count, I would say. This one, definitely, kind of. <laughs> um, then if we keep going down, it's messier and messier. I feel like I don't own many of the books that have Magical Schools, which all the books are dropping. Um, what else, what else, what else? Some deep. Um, damn. Okay, this is where it becomes a huge mess. I told you I'm planning on doing a um, reorganizing my bookshelf actually later this month. So what the heck? Do I own some... Lol. How do I own... Oh my god. Ew, there's a dead spider. Okay. Um, <laughs> I didn't realize I still own some Rainbow Rowl. So I will have to uh, get rid of that when I do my reorganizing video. Where do I have some more school? I thought I'd own more school setting than this. Oops, aha, there they are. So I believe Sabriel has one. This one I believe also, right? You can confirm with me. This one is one of the ones that I know it's gonna be why and probably not a favorite, but it does have a magical school, which, you know, I feel like as a teenager, if I had been 12, I would have loved this. So I need to read this. Oh, I do own this one. So. See, it's in the YA section that all of the <laughs> magical schools were. Uh, this one I've heard great things about, but it's also middle grade, so I'm kind of on the fence, but let me know. So yeah, I do own quite a few still on my shelves, but um, I need to get around to reading them. Let me know which ones are great so I can uh, put them on my TBR and try to read one or two more before um, my video about magical schools. I dropped a couple on the floor trying to show you everything, but I don't know if this one is a magical school, but there's definitely magic from the cover. I'm not sure if there's one in these series, but those are other possibilities. Let me know. I'm planning to do a reorganizing video uh, next month, so like maybe mid-July, and then after that I will be doing my DIY thing, so I will probably do another reorganizing video towards the end of the year, but yeah, that's kind of where I'm at with magical schools. I don't feel like I own many of the books that um have that setting but i still have quite a few that i am looking forward to reading quite a few are why i've realized that now but i still wanted to read them to let you know which ones are worth it because i will sometimes excuse a book being kind of so-so for story or writing or characters if i like the idea or in this case like the setting so yes let me know your opinions I also wanted to show you around a little bit because I've had some requests. So uh, let me show you the first floor, kind of, because I'm planning on decorating now that things are more open, slowly. I mean, I'm getting my vaccine, my second one, probably next month, which... Um, but I wanted to know if you wanted me to include me decorating and DIYing <laughs> things so you can see me struggle and hopefully give me some ideas too because... Uh, it can be a little overwhelming. I'm not super good at that stuff, but I am enjoying it at the moment, so why not? As far as like the style I'm going for, uh, not necessarily like just this room, but like upstairs too, um, it's kind of like modern mid-century meet kind of boho cottage core <laughs> with like hints of like academia with like my lamp and like maybe the bookshelves. Uh, again, not necessarily just this room, but like upstairs too. So let me show you around. So normally this is what you guys see kind of a little further away, but uh, the shelves, like I mentioned, I will be adding one more uh, shelf to the top. Ikea has that for the Billy bookshelf. So I'm gonna do that. And then I'm gonna put them in the wall, like I mentioned. Um, in that little corner, uh, for now, there's just like a random chair and like some books that I picked up, sneak peek. Um, so that's going to be empty, actually, because whenever I get a pet, because that's that's the plan, um, I will be putting their bed or you know, maybe a cat tower or something if I get a cat there, which I'm excited. So that's going to be empty. Uh, the couch will stay there, obviously, and the bookshelf mentioned. Um, the lamp, I'm obsessed with it. Do you see this? It looks like there's raindrops on it. I'm obsessed. Um, the window, I had mentioned I got the little crystals, which again, I love. Otherwise, what you guys don't really see is this part, which, yes, it's a step stool, but uh, eventually I will upgrade whenever I'm allowed to buy things. Uh, pandemic, you know? But I got these little plants, which I still <laughs> haven't killed them. If you don't know, I can't keep a plant alive. But even this one is doing so well. Look look at all the baby leaves. I'm very proud of myself. Uh, so hopefully they last. And uh, the bookshelf here, 
I do like it, but I don't like it here. It's gonna go upstairs and this should be replaced with uh, hopefully a chair because I only have the couch right now. But I have yet to find like a single chair that matches the style that I like, but that also doesn't require me selling a couple of kidneys. So we'll see, but in the future, I would like to put things on the walls and like a chair, that's the plan. So if I turn around, uh, this is what I see usually. This is not staying there all the time, but uh, in the back, you can see my dining table and dining chairs. I love them. Uh, I'm realizing how messy my place is now that I've turned on the camera. Oops, don't, like we say around here, regarde pas le ménage, uh, don't look at the mess. So I am obsessed with these, took me forever to find uh, some that I really liked, but this I hate. Oh my God, I hate it. Uh, the, the whole like industrial look, not my jam. Uh, I do have what I want to replace it with, which again, super messy, but look at the lamp, so pretty. Uh, the chair is also gonna go upstairs. I need to find something to put in the corner, maybe like some type of tower to put plants, like shelves or something, uh, and things on the wall, hopefully. But yes, this, I was originally planning on getting the Ikea one, but Ikea with the pandemic uh, was closed and whenever they reopened for pickup, uh, the light was sold out like for months. So I found this one from Bouclair, which if you are able to order from them uh, online, if you do your first order, you get 20% off. So it was about the same price. So I'm very happy I found that. So I will be replacing this idiot thing. This one too, I found in the lamp that kind of matches the one uh, in the living room. So I'm excited to switch that. And my kitchen is where I'm like, I don't know what to do because obviously we're doing this on a budget and I don't hate it, but a few things that I am going to be changing. First off, the microwave is going to go there, but this one is too big. And with the pandemic, I couldn't do the whole like Facebook marketplace thing. So uh, it's been chilling there. It's been not fun. I need to like find a smaller microwave, but uh, this is where things get a little active. Obviously, I don't want to do anything too big. I did think about maybe painting my uh, cupboards, but I'm not... I, I'm not confident, you know? I don't think, I think it's a bit white, but like there's a limit. So when I moved here, uh, obviously I'm not gonna change the tiles. They're like a cool tone gray. And then the backsplash, which you're noticing is actually with that light, it's not that bad. Uh, but it was painted before I moved by my dad because he knew I hated it. <laughs> it's a like cork and it was a mix of like black, this kind of brown and just like all over the place. And I hated it, so my dad painted it white. Um, knowing that I would probably remove it because I think it's been taped or so he says. So I'm afraid to remove it because I'm afraid that there's something wrong with the wall and I will have to fix it. So I just left it that way. I was thinking about like fixing it up because you can tell a little bit, uh, it's not perfectly painted and then putting some like shiny thing on stop. <laughs> shiny thing. There has to be a word. What is the word? Vernis. <laughs> what is that? Where is the varnish? There you go. Okay, so so yes, varnish on it for it to be shiny so it would look better. With that light, you can see the texture a bit better. I think it's better than uh, without it. So yes, uh, it was multiple colors, so we painted it white and I changed the counters. I think I have a picture, they were brown. I, I was not feeling the brown with multiple colors and like cool tone floors. So I put this contact paper from Amazon, which looks great. You can see the line, but I swear it's only because of that light because otherwise I never see it and it looks great it wasn't too expensive wasn't too hard to put on so yeah the plan is to decide what I do with the backsplash if I keep it I'll repaint and then put the caulking on there so it's going to look more uh nicer <laughs> and the handle which is where you know past owners that do renovations themselves um so they have these they had these which is like more like farm style, which isn't my jam, but whatever. I decided to get these again from Amazon, but turns out that, um, <laughs> I don't know if it's like a custom size or something they had, but the, the normal size just doesn't fit. So I'm gonna have to like, patente que chose. I'm gonna have to like make the holes a little like closer without ruining the whole thing, which makes me very nervous. But yes, uh, this is my kitchen. This is definitely the section. I feel like I need the most help. If you have any feedback, let me know. I want it to be nicer, maybe like changing to a more fun, colorful backsplash would help, but I don't know. So uh, that's most of it. You can kind of see, I know everyone is nosy, myself included. So this is kind of what it looks like. Uh, again, I need to clean that up. <laughs> we all have a dump chair. Let's not pretend we don't. And uh, oh, that part too. I got that part recently and I love it. Um, it's just amazing. Oh, you can see the rainbows. See, I love them. And you can see my play buttons, which I adore. 
let's admit that the newer one is so much better than the old one. So for hitting 100,000 subscribers on my beauty channel, book channel. Okay, so I am about to have lunch, which let me show you. That looks so good. Uh, I can't wait to eat it. But I wanted to update you because I, I'm obviously done with this one, but I am finally done with this one too. And we need to talk. Uh, I will not be attempting the third book, which I have mentioned in my TBR, this one, which is also my school school. I don't think I've included it in that uh, <laughs> bookshelf uh, section, but I will eventually be reading this. This is even more old school than the other ones. Um, which talking, <laughs> speaking of old school, both of these are sexist. Like they're part of a sexist world. And I wanted to address that. Not that like they're horrible, like they're both fine on that aspect, but I just think it's so strange that like, literally every single book is sexist or is part of a sexist world isn't that weird to you because i'm always just shocked that it's just accepted because you can imagine a new magic system but something that isn't sexist so part of patriarchal society that's strange anyway uh there, this one is not even that old it's 2013 but anyway uh let's talk about uh, a few things i wanted to address in this one first off I kept forgetting that this might be middle grade because it definitely reads like the main character is 12, but they remind us that no, he's actually 16 and I was so shocked. <laughs> like, how is he 16? He does not act like he's 16. And like, I don't think like the author is purposely making it like that. I think it's just like accidental. And it's my second time reading a book where uh, Brendan Sanderson wrote, the other one is right there, uh, a teenage boy and he's just writing him like he's a child straight up so maybe that's why i prefer his adult books but he did an okay job with skyward but the main character is female so who knows um the second one i wanted to address i'm not spoiling anything a few of the things i will mention are kind of explained towards the end but like i don't think it's a spoiler for me to mention them anyway uh, at one point they're talking about whoever or oh, i didn't even mention the story <laughs> i am so all over the place lately so they're mentioning that uh, there's someone that is going around killing some students, which, okay. And um, when they're talking about that person, especially the police officer mentioning it, keeps saying he. And like, I was wondering the whole time, is it like an accident? Is it on purpose? So I put a post it there because of that. <laughs> I didn't know. Uh, and one of the reason that I feel like it reads very middle grade is that the main character who is 16 um keeps solving things and like being told that he's doing such a good job and like people are listening to him and it's just so unrealistic and like no one except a child would think that way like it would just not happen except in their fantasy because really if a child were, were to tell me these things and like your police officer you're not gonna take them seriously and it's just so strange to see it like everyone is like you should become a police officer you're so good at this oh my god i didn't think about this and i'm like right as if that would happen um but yeah there's <laughs> my main thoughts i enjoyed the magic system i enjoyed the world building i'm curious to see how it would go but the rest of the series is like not announced at this point like i believe that he will come out with them because when he says something he does it but like it's still a bit strange to be honest so yeah i'm still looking forward to reading this one uh this one is probably like i said a three stars this one is probably about a three stars too because even though the world building magic system were good, honestly, it would have just been better if it had been written like he was in university. And I don't know if it's because I'm getting older and like, boy, it doesn't work for me, blah, blah, blah. Or if it's just true. Because <laughs> like, I feel like it would have been better straight up. Anyway, uh, let me know what you think. We're going to end the vlog here. Not a bad vlog. I feel like two decent books. Uh, nothing that is mind-blowing, but I haven't been super impressed with the new YA book in forever. Although I'm looking forward to reading, is it Legendborn? That I've seen going around. I think I'm going to do a, um, like, TikTok maybe do it, like, book talk maybe do it, and just try some of the really popular ones, because some of the books that are mentioned, I did a video about them, like, are books that were popular, like, two, three years ago on booktube, but some of them I've seen going around a little bit on booktube, and then I keep seeing them on TikTok, so I will attempt them and let you know what I think 
including uh, Legendborn, because I want to know. Hopefully that's the right title. <laughs> so that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thumbs up, subscribe. Let me know in the comment section your favorite books with magical school settings, especially if I have them on my shelves so I can like prioritize them before I do my uh, recommendation video. And yeah, we'll see you in an upcoming video. Bye.